my research is specifically looking at, well, it's in forensic and social cognition for psychology, and I'm specifically looking at the persuasion processes and how they are different from a face-to-face -face setting and then taking that into online synthetic environments. So looking at whether people are persuaded online and how that process evolves. In terms of excitement, I think actually going out and doing the research yourself and knowing it can hopefully help and be applied into the real world, that's really exciting for me. And even though data recruitment is the difficult part, that is actually the most exciting. When you start seeing those results coming in, start analysing your data, you feel like you're actually progressing and you feel like you actually do something worthwhile. So that's really exciting. What's helped me most, I think you have to have a good supervisor when you're doing a doctorate. And my supervisor, I think, is really, really good. She's really helpful. She knows a lot of, um, she has a lot of influence in her field. So I, th I think she's my main help in terms of throughout my PhD, but also the uni, they're really supportive. They offer lots of workshops to develop your skills. Um, so I think I have had a lot of support throughout my PhD and that's been really beneficial from this university. So hopefully, because I'm looking at how people are persuaded online, um, hopefully it can be applied um, into the real world. So key issues nowadays with radicalisation through online settings, I think it's quite an important area to be looking at. Um, and due to my area being funded by the MOD, they are requesting that I look at how this aspect um, differs from a traditional face-to-face -face environment. So, for example, recently with the three Syria girls who've just gone to Syria from the UK, um, yes. they, ha they were initially radicalised and persuaded through Twitter, one of them was. So I think that's quite interesting to hopefully apply my research and to understand key aspects of that and why people become persuaded online and see if we can develop some sort of technique to maybe prevent them from being persuaded or help, help, help people to be persuaded in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, through health manage management key issues and things like that. So.